Hey guys, well I hope you enjoyed the videos from Korea. I have my actual talk linked in the playlist. And um, there's the my slideshow. And if you link here, you can actually see me talking. Um, the slides, I talked about um, the Apex Up version of serverless in the sense that uh, the great thing about Apex Up, is, as my slide says, is you, is you basically do not have to re-engineer for AWS Lambda or serverless. You just use the, the simple standards-based request and response model. So on that basis, I just wanted to show you some of the fun things I've been doing with uh, Up. So let's start with with this um, with this piece of software. All it does is print sort of hello YouTubers. And so this is basically, uh, so the way I'm working with DWM is that I have Jin running and then I go like curl localhost 3000. And if I make changes here, it, it instantly gets uh, reflected. Now, um, let's just re put that back how it was. So n all I do now to publish this is, is just like a quick up. And it's, and it's up on uh, up online. So that, that's, that's pretty straightforward. But I wanted to show you the Golang's excellent proxying type features. Uh, just in a few lines of code, you can proxy something. So let me demonstrate that. So let's go here, let's go here. So if I um, uh, try to request that JSON output from, from uh, hello.natalian.org, uh, what, what the problem here is that it doesn't have any uh, calls headers on it. So if I fetch it from another website, it's gonna fail. No access control origin header, bane of my life. So, what you can do to get around it, I mean, what you should do is just go cause true in your <laughs> in your in your up configuration. But say you don't have control of hello.natalian.org, you can write a proxy very very simply. Uh, let's this is my proxy here. So what do we have? Thirty one lines of code, and I I, I grab uh, hello.natalian.org, and um, well. I could have added the headers myself, but I'm just going sort of cause enable true here. So now if I change that to, uh, uh, I'm hosting it at this URL, BBC. So now it works. So from a different domain, apex.github.io, I can now grab that piece of JSON uh, through my proxy, da, da 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 So that's cool, but I think it even gets more wild here. So check this out um, now you can modify the request so let's try let's just change um, I'm gonna match whatever I see in the response uh, like hello I can say howdy so let's try that out oops let's kill Jin over here You see, I'm basically rewriting the um, response from hello.natalian.org. I mean, that's pretty powerful. So I, on that basis, I was really kind of messing around here. Uh, what was I doing here? So I think I checked out to the wrong one. Is it this one? Yeah. So now every time I see something silly like a Trump or Corbyn, I replace it with my friend's name, Larry. Let's check it out. Uh, so, what is that? Larry lashes out at Hurricane Plymouth. I mean, this is a lot of fun, isn't it? <laughs> and of course, um, I can just uh, deploy that very quickly to a domain. Got a few seconds. 
it's deployed and now you can go to my own particular brand of BBC News here where any mention of uh, Trump is replaced with Larry what do you mean La Larry's not mentioned here Larry's there, Larry's there. Okay, that concludes my video using up and Golang's really easy, powerful proxy type stuff. Um, I'll link to, I'll link to the, the, the Git repos, but like I'm even doing like kind of stuff like decompressing here with gzip. The whole, the whole reverse proxy, or I mean, not, it's not a reverse proxy. The whole proxy is in less than eight, uh, 100 lines of code. That's amazing to me, that's amazing. That's the power of Go and up Hope you like the video. Please give it a thumbs like, thumbs up, and and all that sort of stuff. Bye, guys.